Today, we are going to be talking about metering devices. These are the two different types of devices that are going to dictate how much Freon goes from your outside unit into this evaporator coil, dictating how cool this coil gets and how cool the air out of your vents are going to be. So to basically simplify um, this discussion, we have two different setups here. The more basic setup is a little piston, looks like this, and it has a tiny little hole. A fixed orifice is what this is called. It's called an orifice or a piston. And this will just let this amount of Freon go into this coil no matter what. As long as the unit is on outside, the condensing unit, it will allow this much Freon to come in. Whereas a TXV, or a thermal expansion valve will use different uh, temperatures based on this bulb here and it will dictate how much Freon goes through this valve. So this valve can open and close depending on the demand of how cold we need the coil to be. If we're just trying to lower the home a degree or two, we might not let as much Freon in and cause the compressor to work harder. Whereas if we're trying to get it down several degrees this thermal expansion valve can let more freon in and get the coil nice and cool so there's a couple of different advantages and drawbacks when we think about these two types of metering devices so a txv is going to be more efficient uh, you can expect to have a little bit lower electricity bill because the compressor doesn't have to work as hard with one of these but as you can tell there's some different features different components it's a little bit more technical and this could cause problems later on down the road whereas this one you know it might not be as efficient but it's just a hole it's just a piston with a little seal and a cone and a hole and that's all it is so in some respects i like the piston better but people want to have a more efficient system and we install these TXVs. So those are your basic uh, principles behind these two metering devices. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to install this TXV. It's a universal. It can be installed on pretty much any evaporator coil. And so we're gonna show you how to do it specifically with a Goodman coil. So make sure to watch the next video that will show you how easy these are to install. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video today, like this video, leave me a comment in the description. Let me know if there's any other HVAC related questions that you'd like seen in a, in a video and I'll do my best to accommodate. But thanks again for watching you guys and have a good rest of the day. Cheers.